So pivoting and fast feet, talk to me about it. Pivoting and fast feet. The importance of pivoting and fast feet. Well, pivoting so we can turn around into a different stance position so we can plant a big right hand or the left hook. So we're just changing from one position straight into another one. Pivoting on your front foot to your back foot to gain more room. So you get further in, you punch. Just constantly moving round. Hands up all the time, obviously. Guiding the chin and the body and the elbows. Just moving in all the time. Constantly with the hands up. And that's what we got. Yeah. And big light crosses. Got to keep them moving. Confuse your opponent. Got to give the same shots all the time. Always different shots. Um, and obviously, moving in different ways. Not going the same way all the time. Because when you're moving in the same way all the time, you're just going to. Get times. You just let him read you like a book. You switch your moves. But why is it so many fighters, professional fighters, move straight back in straight lines? So many back in straight lines? Yeah, moving back in straight lines. Why is that? And that's professional fighters. I don't know why they do it, but uh, it's better if you can work on your footwork, moving sideways, lateral movement, yeah. mixing it up all the time so that your opponent doesn't even know where you're going to come from next. You know? Because if you're just going to straight line, it's going to go straight, li straight line at you. Yeah, yeah. You're coming back in one line, you're just going to come pounding at you with big right hands yeah. and left. So if you're moving it from side to side, pivoting from one side to other, you don't know where you're going to be. Yep. You've got to confuse your opponent all the time. Yeah.